Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be talking about swim bladder and buoyancy disorders in fish. So most fish have either a one or two chambered swim bladder that sits just on their vertebral column. And this is responsible for giving them neutral buoyancy and being able to stay in the middle of a column of water. If a fish has too much air in their swim bladder, they become positively buoyant and float at the surface. Too little and they're negatively buoyant and stuck at the bottom. Now, a lot of the times we see buoyancy disorders in fancy goldfish. Now, why is this? Well, if you consider a standard comet goldfish, again, with a long body and long fins, and then you take this fish and squish it like this, and that's kind of the body plan you get for a lot of fancy goldfish, is a little hunchback with little tiny fins, giant eyeballs, a big belly. Yes, they're very cute, but unfortunately, that lovely large swim bladder that they had as a big goldfish has now been compressed, and a lot of the times they've gone from two chambers down to one. And sometimes if your fish grows too fast or too slow, the swim bladder is just so constricted by the external body shape that it can't keep up with the fish's neutral buoyancy and it's either gonna float or sink. Now, unfortunately, some of the times these are permanent. Now, we never recommend trying to rig your fish up with a wheelchair made of airline tubing that's going to constrict down on the slime coat. This is very dangerous for your fish and can actually lead to secondary bacterial infections. Now, our office actually puts on temporary floats, which allow a fish to get to the surface of the water and swim around a little bit easier. Now, with goldfish being physostomish fish, they have a duct between their swim bladder and their esophagus. So if they're able to get to the surface and suck in a little bit extra air, they might be able to inflate their swim bladder themselves and have neutral buoyancy again. Now, this um, physostomous nature makes feeding goldfish a little bit harder because if goldfish are eating very vigorously at the surface, like the little golden retrievers that they are, sometimes they can suck in too much air. And then after feeding, floop, they're stuck at the surface just temporarily and then they'll go back down. So a lot of the times you'll be feeding green peas for constipation. Again, we've been over both of these topics, but essentially what this does is give your fish a sinking diet. So they're not sucking in a bunch of air at the surface and therefore they don't float after they're eating. But you can accomplish this by just getting your goldfish sinking pellets. And they're a lot more nutrition, they have a lot more protein in them and are a better overall diet. So yes, your fish might have swim bladder, but it just means that they have a swim bladder or buoyancy disorder. And it can be caused by lots of different things. First of all, your water chemistry. So certainly if your fish is having difficulty swimming, check your water chemistry first thing and be ready to call your aquatic veterinarian for more help. So hopefully this answers a lot of those swim bladder and buoyancy questions that we get asked on a regular basis. If you have any more questions about fish or fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.